Hello everyone. In this video, uh, we are going to see how we can create primary and the foreign key constraint on the BigQuery tables. So as you can see on my screen, so this is the release notes for the BigQuery and you can see recently on 17th of the July, the primary key and the foreign key constraint are now generally available. So we can create tables using the primary key constraint and we can create the tables using the foreign key constraint. So let's see what how we can create uh, tables using the primary and the foreign key. And also we'll see what are the limitations on right now on these two types of constraint. Okay. So I have already prepared a query to create the tables. So let me create the table for uh let me create a table so i'm going to create a customer table and a sales table so customer table will be my main table and in this customer table there will be customer id name and the email address and the customer id will be uh customer id will be the primary key on this customer table and also, whenever you are going to create the primary key using the BigQuery, you need to use the not enforced right now because this not enforced is not available in the big uh, BigQuery right now. So you need to like you the enforcement is not available right now on for the primary key and the foreign key right now in the BigQuery. So we need to use the not enforced statement while when you are creating the primary when you are creating the table using the primary key or the foreign key. so let me create the table and i'm going to create the table on this data fusion data set and inside this there will be a customer table which i have created and then let me also create another table without using any key so i'll i'll tell you what is why I am creating this uh, table. So this table I'm going to create without any key. So there is no key here. We have, we have just created a table without defining any primary key column. Okay. So similarly, let me create a sales table as well. So here I'm going to create a sales table. And in this table, as you can see, I have defined the sales ID. So there are there is sales ID, sales amount, and sales ID, uh, sales date, and the customer ID. Customer ID is the foreign key on this sales table, which will be connecting the sales table with the uh, main table, which is the customer table. So again, I have used the not enforced as you can see, because the enforcement is not right now, the enforcement is not available on the uh, BigQuery uh, on the BigQuery table. So that's why we are using not enforced. Without, if you are not using not enforced, it will not allow you to create the table. I have created customer table and the sales table. Also, let me create the sales table one more sales table without any key. So this will be sales table without key. So if I go to customer table, I can see uh, these are the column names. That is customer ID, name, and the email address. If I go to the details, I can see my primary key is customer ID, which I have defined. Similarly, if I'll go to the sales table, I can see that is primary key column and the uh, foreign key column. Similarly, on the customer table, on the customer table also, I can see the customer ID is the PK or for primary key. And on the sales table, sales ID is the primary key and the customer ID is the foreign key. If I'll go to the details, I can see that sales ID is my primary key. So let me insert uh, some of the rows on these two tables. So I'm going to insert the rows onto both customer 
as well as uh, the sales table. So there is customer table and then there is sales table. So let me insert rows. And also I'll be inserting the rows on the uh, table which I have created without defining any key without defining any primary key or the foreign key okay. so let me also make one more change so when i'm running the query i don't want to use the cache check So let me also insert record. So right now, uh, the data is available on the sales and the customer table. Similarly, the data is also available on the call up on the tables which I have created without defining any key. So right now, if I do join operation, if I uh run some join operation let me join the sales table so here what i'm doing i'm doing the join operation i'm running the join operation using the uh, tables where i have defined the primary key and the foreign key so now if i run the join operation I got my result and if I'll go to the execution details, it's showing me, uh, so it's showing me there is only one stage, as you can see, right? There is only one stage. And here you can see a uh, number of records on the output is four. And all those records you can see here on the results. And also you can see the time taken to fetch those results. And if you go to the execution graph, you can see here, it has not, though we are using the join operation, but you will not be able to see any kind of join operation which it has performed in the execution graph. Okay, so that is the, that's the advantage of using the primary key and the foreign key constraint on the sales and the customer table. Now, if I'm going to run the same query, so exactly same query I'll be running. Uh, on the tables where I have not created any, where I have not defined any primary key and the foreign key. So let's see what is the ritual pair. So now if I run the query, I got same four uh, rows on the output. If I go to my execution graph, you can see there are two stages here. One is your input stage, another one is the output step. So obviously it is taking much time compared to the earlier case where we saw that if you are using the primary and the foreign key constraint, uh, the query execution time will be reduced. And also, if you'll go to the execution graph, we can see clearly like there is the join operation which is happening between the customer table and the sales table. So this is the advantage of using the primary key and the foreign key on the big query. Okay. So as I told, the enforcement option right now is not available, but still we can define the bottom as the primary and the foreign key. Okay, so that's all I had for this video. Thank you.